The Earth has a message for those who listen. From the whisper of the tide to the sighing of the reeds, it sends out its melody for us to hear. Along our shores, a symphony of species works in harmony to maintain our fragile coastal ecosystem. These critical areas are the front lines against a host of planet-altering phenomena. They are the wetlands. They are kidneys for other ecosystems, filtering, cleaning, and storing water as it flows throughout. Like sponges, they collect and hold floodwaters, essential for protecting our communities and preventing erosion on our beaches. For eons, the creatures living there have kept a perfect balance. When humans arrived and developed coastal habitats of their own, the balance shifted. And now, this delicate fabric may be coming undone. Luckily, one group has recognized the need to restore balance to this fragile ecosystem. Since 1969, the Wetlands Institute has spearheaded the effort to reverse the damage caused by coastal development. It is within these walls where critical research is conducted and lives are saved. For over 40 years, the Institute has educated researchers and teachers from all nations on the importance of the wetlands, teaching both young and old the value of stewardship, responsibility for maintaining our natural habitat so that it may continue to sustain us. It is a direct result of their conservation efforts that our coastal communities continue to thrive. The largest population of horseshoe crabs in North America spawn in Cape May. After surviving for a half billion years, overfishing and habitat loss has sent their populations plummeting 90% in just the past 15 years. This decline has had a domino effect on other species in the ecosystem. Shorebirds journeying up to 9,000 miles from their wintering grounds in South America depend upon horseshoe crab eggs as their primary food source, timing their journeys so they can feed and rest along these shores. The populations of many of these birds are in dramatic decline, without hope of recovery if horseshoe crab populations are unable to rebound. Scientists and students at the Institute have united in a statewide conservation effort to protect horseshoe crab populations in New Jersey. Eggs are collected and reared under controlled conditions, which dramatically increases their survival rates until they are old enough to be freed. In a related project, the Institute has rescued more than 60,000 stranded horseshoe crabs in just two years. They're simultaneously monitoring local avian populations, restoring their habitats following storm impacts, and preserving them from further encroachment, ensuring their safe journey home. Recently, coastal development has deprived the diamondback terrapin of its natural habitat forcing pregnant females onto roadways in search of nesting areas where they are killed by motorists. Researchers and student interns have harvested and hatched thousands of eggs from lifeless females, giving back the gift of life. They are joined with school children and visitors who eagerly await the day when they release their turtles back to their native habitat. This year alone, summer nature programs, presentations, and hands-on learning have inspired over 11,000 school children to become caring environmental stewards, to hear the Earth's symphony. We have a great deal to learn from the natural world and much to offer. The Wetlands Institute was founded by a visionary leader who understood the need to protect and preserve our wetlands, setting us on this great course of conservation, education, and stewardship. Our staff works every day to protect this precious resource and restore its delicate balance. We need your help. We have made no small plans. Be a part of it.